It's interesting that Joe Biden is, and you know, I, I give um, Megan McCain credit for this because she opened my eyes to it as I was watching her the other day. She said, Joe Biden, by the way, she defends Joe Biden, mm -hmm. says she, he's a nice man. Um, says that Joe Biden is an old school retail politician who likes to get out and, you know, be among the people and touch people. And when you take away the bill, not that he should be in anybody's space, but he, if he's going to be the you know, strong or the straight arm politician, then he's no longer Joe Biden. Mm -hmm. You've taken away the, the characteristic that people like about him, that he's a man of the people, that he's caring, and that he, you know, he, he wants to be uh, among the, the folks. Right. I, look, I, I, hear, I hear what you're saying. I, I, I read it. Um, I see it this way, okay? Uh, <clears throat> Joe Biden is not too old to change. Right. What he's doing, he does because he thinks it's effective and helps him to connect. Uh, if he is told and, or made aware or told directly that what you are doing is not doing that, it's doing the opposite of that, uh, his instincts should tell him to stop. The yeah. only thing I didn't get out of that video was if somebody thinks that what you did uh, was wrong and if they took it negatively, apologize. If that wasn't your attention, just apologize. I know all the experts and big brains around you are telling you not to apologize. Show no weakness at what work, works for Trump. Doesn't matter what you accuse him of. He'll never admit a damn thing. Eventually, the media will go away. Eventually, they'll move on to something else. It's good advice. Look what happened down in Virginia. Eventually, we go away. However, if he didn't mean anything, I know the man. I know the man personally. I know him well. I know yeah. his family. Yeah. They are all about integrity of service and how they are. Nobody's perfect. Nobody's even close. But that was the one thing. I think yeah. that if you were to apologize, if I didn't mean it that way. If you took it that way, then I was wrong. I'm sorry. He, I've learned better going forward. Now I think it's complete. Yeah, listen, they, the, the people who have accused him have said that non-sexual just made them uncomfortable. If it comes out that, that there's counts. something else, then, you know, then you change with the information that you have. But that, that does count. Uh, he said similar in the first response. I'm not, listen, I'm not one that, that I don't believe in, I don't really believe in boycotts. I don't really believe that everyone should be apologizing. I think sometimes you explain to people why you did something, and that is absolutely good enough. If it is something that is so, that is that egregious, mm -hmm. I absolutely believe that you should apologize. Um, but sometimes, you know, I, I just don't like the apology tour for anybody. And I'm talking Democrat, Republican, whoever. I don't just explain well, why look, you did something. Well, look, I mean, something. the Democrats have created behind. their own bar. I mean, they absolutely. got rid of their own, one of their own. They got rid of Franken. Gillibrand's running for president. You know, she was at the uh, head of that movement, you know, and she's open about that. Well, then how is but Biden Chris, different? But, Chris, listen, I understand what you're saying, but this is different. I said if someone comes forward and says mm -hmm. that it was inappropriate somehow touching and that they felt yes. it was sexual, that is a different story. I agree. Because the people, the, the, the people I believe, most of the people they set the bar on, there were accusations of actual assault and se possible sexual assault and abuse. Yes. That is a whole different thing, and we 100%. cannot keep categorizing these things the same way. You, no one should be in anyone's personal space. No one should be touching anybody inappropriately. But it is real, you know, um, what's her name? Um, Alice Stewart said there's a difference between going five miles over the speed limit and 50 miles over Fair the speed point. limit. Fair yeah. point. Uh, Joe Biden is not Al Franken, is not Donald Trump. Right. Uh, I think that the relativism matters. And also, I mean, look, this can only be about how the Democrats right now decide to see it. And let's also be honest. Right, Don, you know, I'll get beat up for this, but what makes Wednesday any different? This is what the media does, man. It loves people up and it tears them down. You know, Joe Biden should run. We love Joe, Uncle Joe. And then as soon as he's a step away from deciding to run, bam, bam. here it comes. Yeah. And, they are, and it's like that for everybody, Beto O'Rourke. Beto O'Rourke, he's the man. You know, he's the white Obama. Here he comes, you know, first of all. <laughs> and then what happens? He gets out there a little bit. Now they want something new. Right. He raised money, but not platitude. as much as they Why thought he, he would. standing on the bam. bar? Yeah. Now it's Mayor Pete. Mayor yeah. Pete, hooray. Yeah. Look, good for all of them. Ride the ride, but no... Yeah. That the hill has two sides. Yeah. <laughs> One thing media, that I've been uh, that I've been screaming at the television about because you don't know uh, Joe Biden. I mean, uh, not Joe Biden. Uh, Bernie Sanders denies uh, that he had anything to do with this, right? With this Joe Biden thing. As opposed um, to what? Who's going to come out? I'm, I'm not saying that Bernie Sanders had anything to do know. with it. But who would say they did? Most probably, it's it. Well, I shouldn't say probably. We don't know who it is. It could be some. It could be a Trump supporter. It could be a Republican. It could be just the woman yeah, coming forward no and saying, if he's going to run exactly. for president, I want people to know this. Yeah. And that's what she says. So there you go. But everyone's saying, it's a Democrat. Is this a... But look, we they created we a standard no that is very exacting. And yeah. I have to tell you, I didn't have any problem with that at the time because the only way culture changes is if you force it to change. Our yeah. problem is we can only have this conversation with half the side. 
Yeah. The Republicans can't talk about this with Donald Trump as president. Oh, no? You know, I mean, look, Scott Jennings on the show tonight gave a good faith effort. And he was like, look, you know, if he grabbed her, and I was like, oh, you can't use that verb. Yeah. Every time any supporter of the president used grabbed as a verb, it's going to take people right back to the Access Hollywood tape. And the 20 women or the dozen plus women who came forward and said the mm -hmm. president assaulted them. Yeah. So they can't talk about it. And that's the shame because this should be something that is consensus. Everybody's on the same page.